Hi everyone, Mike here. Happy Halloween. I've got a great little video today of some beavers wandering around on the rocks and land right near where I was standing. Uh, I know that a lot of you enjoy hearing the sounds of nature while the beavers are working and I like to bring you the sounds of nature. Unfortunately, in this video, the only sound is going to be me talking. About five minutes before I found these beavers, I had accidentally knocked my camera and tripod into the river. And when I got back home and downloaded this video, all that was on it was some very, very loud screeching sounds. So the water had damaged my video. And when this video comes to an end, my camera actually stopped working completely for the night. Now my camera had only been in the water for about eight seconds. And fortunately, after 24 hours in a bowl of rice, my camera worked fine. So um, it's as good as new, it seems. Now watch this beaver here. Oop, he slides into the crevice. Those web feet aren't exactly perfect for walking on the rocks. Um, in any event, uh, I was really excited when I came upon this spot. The beavers had not been hanging around here for a long time. Uh, it had been a, probably a month since I had seen them at this spot. And I was surprised that suddenly there were three of them. Um, and then, as you'll see here, two of them just suddenly started zooming up the rocks right towards where I was standing. I wasn't sure why um, and what was attracting them because this isn't a spot they had been stopping of late. Um, but nonetheless, I was thrilled and I was really excited that my camera appeared to still be working. Um, so as you'll see here, uh, one of the beavers finds a branch and the other one comes right past where I'm standing. So, of course, I was really excited uh, at what was going on. I always enjoy when the beavers are busy, especially when they're out of the water. They're so much more fun to watch. And anyways, it was right about now that I realized that right behind where I had stopped to watch that first beaver on the rocks, there was actually a tree that they had brought down probably during the night and obviously had been taken apart one chunk at a time to haul back into the water. And that's when I realized why that uh, little beaver had um, found what seemed like a freshly cut chunk of wood almost at my feet when I first st started. So someone must have dropped that, bringing it down from this tree. You can see that most of the large branches have been removed during the night. And all that's left is the main part of the tree. For the next few seconds here, you can watch this beaver trying to move what's left of the tree. He couldn't, which meant they're going to have to cut it in half again. In any event, it was shortly after this that my camera stopped working altogether. This beaver stopped to listen because a couple bikers were going by the path, so he had to just make sure they got by safely. In any event, uh, my camera's about to quit working, and that means my video quit working. And after this... Um, I just had to sit and watch them do their work, wishing my camera was in good order. Hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great Halloween. Cheers.